This week on Canada in the Rough. We're hunting whitetails in northern Saskatchewan. Kevin Beasley's in the snow-covered woods, hunting with Brian and Sylvia of Baitmaster Hunt Camp. And the bucks are on the move. This week on Canada in the Rough. Well, we just finished filling up the tires. We're getting ready to hit the road to go to the airport. This week I'm gonna be hunting in Saskatchewan for whitetails. I'll be hunting with Baitmaster Hunt Camp. I hunted with them a couple years ago and Brian Sylvia did a fantastic job for me. I was able to harvest a beautiful buck. I had deer around me all trip. This year I'm gonna be taking the bow with me, so fingers crossed we'll get them in close and I might get a chance at one of those Saskatchewan Giants. After landing in Saskatoon, a day after a blizzard hit the province, Kevin made the three-hour drive up to camp. As he headed north, the vast fields of the prairies gave way to the big timber. Kevin arrived in Green Lake just before dark and made his way to Baitmaster Hunt Camp's Lakeside Lodge. Our camp is located in northwestern Saskatchewan, uh, kind of right on the uh, start of the boreal forest. And uh, we offer uh, uh, spring bear hunts, uh, fishing in the summertime, uh, fall bear hunts, migratory birds, and uh, white-tailed deer and moose. So uh, we got a, a full round package. Well, we got a, a lodge, I think it's about 3,500 square feet. We built it from scratch, my wife and I. It's uh, nice and comfortable and, and uh, good home-cooked meals when you get home at night and, and uh, nice warm place to sleep and private bedrooms, semi-private loft, washrooms, uh, laundry facilities, uh, internet, everything that you can think of, we got it all here. And we're really lucky to, you know, to see 10, 15, 20 deer, even 30 deer a day and, and uh, it's just a matter of choosing the right animal uh, to harvest. I mean, it's unprecedented what we got for resources here in the province. Well, we're just getting ready to jump into the ATV. We got a beautiful morning this morning. It's dead calm and it's cold and there's a call for some snow. So hopefully that'll get the deer moving. We're actually heading into a spot that I, I sat two years ago where I had that broken G3 buck come in. Beautiful deer, just a little bit young back then and uh, another nice 10. The deer action was incredible in there. So here's hoping we'll have some more action and uh, maybe we'll even get that monster Saskatchewan buck. Genetics on him, nice dead boy, nice tight leg. Looks to be a couple years shy of being a smasher. New buck coming in on the left. Not a shooter, but a nice deer. Man, oh man, look at the darker antlers on him.
big body deer. Got a big old swollen neck on him. Here he comes, he's coming in. Sure was a big body Saskatchewan buck. Big mature neck on him, really swollen out, but just not the class of deer we're after here. We're in the big woods of northern Saskatchewan and they have some giants around here, so we're just gonna hold out and uh, see what else comes in. The steady deer activity continued into the afternoon. Kevin had a quick bite in his blind and warmed up with a hot drink while enjoying the action. In the afternoon, a group of does took up residence in front of Kevin until a young buck showed up and started chasing them off. Later, two of the more mature bucks from the morning returned for a unique encounter. Don't just snore wheezed at him. I've spent a lot of time in the deer woods and I've never heard one snore wheeze at another one. That was neat. The snort wheeze is just one of a variety of vocalizations that deer use to communicate with each other. It's an especially aggressive sound made by bucks to intimidate a rival and assert their dominance.
I think we just got ourselves a Saskatchewan buck. Oh my goodness. We've been sitting in freezing cold temperatures all day and it just happened late afternoon. And that buck, he showed up in that corner just coming over that hill, the sun shining down on those dark chocolate rack and he looked magnificent. We're gonna message Brian. And by the time he gets here, we should be able to go and have a look. I think we got ourselves a nice buck. He did it again in 30 below weather? Yes, we did. <laughs> but that heater did the trick, let me tell you. Look at that, that is just coated. Just coated through blood. and through. Looks like he's hit pretty good. Yeah, well, let's, let's, let's get on that blood trail. It should be easy to find yeah. here, but it looks like pretty easy to track here. <laughs> the blood trail isn't yeah, too hard, is it? Yeah, he's, uh, he's leaking pretty good here. Both sides coming out yeah. pretty good. There he is. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Look at that, eh? Brian. Oh, look yeah, there at he this is. deer. Look at this deer. Good old Saskatchewan buck. Brian, that's two trips in a <laughs> row. You have put you and Sylvia have put me on incredible, incredible deer. Oh, I can't thank you enough. Thank you so My, much. Our pleasure. That's what Saskatchewan's all about right there. It is. You you and you have so many of these. The mature the age classes you guys have in Saskatchewan is is from one to, to yeah. 12. Like yeah. you, you guys have old deer in these woods. And uh, the toughest part about hunting with you though is, is passing on all the other deer. <laughs> I have been tempted many times this trip already. The two other days I had great deer in front of me, but you texted me. Well, uh, I texted him because <laughs> I see this rascal yesterday and, and uh, he was chasing a doe. And, and I, so I couldn't wait to get back into cell service. I texted him, said, don't shoot, don't shoot. <laughs> well, you literally texted me 15 minutes after you texted me, that big, that big one yeah. came by me and uh, he was tempting me. But yeah. Brian, thank you so much. You guys run a first class outfit. And we make it look easy, but it's, it, it's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. You put in time, a, a ton of hours in these woods and yeah. that, that's why you're so successful at what yeah. you do though. But so. we, we've been doing it for 40 years too. So. <laughs> you, you can tell, you guys got it nailed down pretty good. Well, let's get a tag on him. We'll yeah. get him back to yeah. camp. You bet. Perfect. Well, Baitmasters Hunt Camp didn't disappoint again. I absolutely love coming here. Being able to watch these deer, be it grunting, be it chasing, be it sparring, or even snort wheezing this time. It's just incredible to watch that. And to be able to, to never know when a true monster might walk by you, it's just something special. Brian and Sylvia, they know how to treat you well and they know how to make you comfortable. Even in these cold temperatures that we had, they have heaters for you. They have sleeping bags that go on your boots to keep your boots warm. They, you can sit in a tree stand or they'll put you up in a ground blind just to make you comfortable. And their accommodations and food is just spectacular. If you ever get the chance, to come to Saskatchewan for a whitetail hunt, you gotta do it. I'm your host, Kevin Beasley from Canada Rough. Remember to enjoy the greatness of Canada and be proud of your hunting heritage. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this video. For more great videos and content, please subscribe to our page and let us know in the comments what you'd like to see. And to follow our amazing adventures around Canada, please join us on Facebook and Instagram. 